We are making plastic injection molds out of pure metal right here on this desktop. And the best part is we're doing it with the Hacksmith. I am super excited <laughs> for this because ActionBox has created the Injecto M, which is a desktop metal injection molding <laughs> process. Desktop and metal injection molding don't go together in the sentences normally, but you guys have done it and you've created a product called Maced yep. that lets you make solid <laughs> copper parts at home using 3D printed molds. So I am super excited to learn how to use this and to start using it in my videos and in my lab here. Yeah, let's show you how it works. All right. <laughs> When you said you guys were down to do a collab, I thought of a product that we already make. We sell mini lightsabers, and with the purchase of every mini saber, we include this coin on the top. And it says, I helped develop the world's first lightsaber. And being able to make the prototype of this in-house would be super useful and very beneficial in our journey of making products. So I'm really excited to see what this this little machine can do. We're gonna start by using <laughs> Injecto M to actually make really quick metal plastic injection molds of the coin that James just showed to you. And then we're gonna pull out Injecto and inject plastic right into those molds. And that whole process is gonna take us less than 24 hours. Amazing. Let's do it. <laughs> So the Hacksmith started by sending us the challenge coin for their lightsaber. And what I did is I went on Fusion 360, imported the file, inserted it over these molds that we already have designed. And within one minute, I had two halves of this coin mold. Now we used a super cheap Elegoo resin 3D printer that we bought for maybe 200 bucks. So you can do this with really cheap equipment. When we have these molds, guess what we're doing? So again, for this we use RTV silicone, which is a castable two-part compound. Now there are two common types, platinum cured, which is easy to identify because it's mixed at a ratio of one to one. But this silicone reacts with resin prints and will not cure. So we can only use it with FDM printed molds like this one here, which made this copper maced part. To use our resin print, we have to use our tin cured RTV silicone, which is generally the one that mixes at a ratio of 10 to one and these don't react with resin prints and they also produce amazing molds. So let's mix it, cast it, and wait a few hours to demold it. All right, so we have our silicone molds. Now, James, guess what we're doing? Injecting metal? Let's do it. What do you think about this little form factor? It is exactly how big it needs to be, Perfect. which is awesome because <laughs> I got a lot of shit in here. <laughs> I'm, I'm running out of space, so. <laughs> and just to be clear, this is James' personal lab. He's my hero, and I'm <laughs> so excited to be here. So let's power this up and start making some metal molds for the Hacksmith. Is it time to put the mace in? It is time to put the mace in, so I'm gonna give that to you and let you pour it right into the Injecto M. That's heavy. It is heavy. I it's forgot how. It's copper. So go ahead and pour that right in. All right, James, as you've noticed, we Where's are having mace? a drip from the nozzle. So what you do is you go ahead, grab this stopper, ah. and just plug it right up. Easy. Now, mace is 100% recyclable before you put it in the furnace. So James, feel free to grab that piece right there, throw it back in the hopper, and there's nothing wasted. Oh, wow. It's more solid than I thought. Yeah. <laughs> So, no waste with mace, that's a pretty good line. <laughs> no waste no with waste mace, with I mace. love that. <laughs> so, put the two halves together. It's an open face mold, so just grab any half, put it oh. right underneath, or you can just hold it. First thing you're going to want to do is uh, grab the stopper near the pin, pull it down, and twist it out of the way. And now go ahead and press the button on the oh, front. Yeah. Ooh, there we go. <laughs> wow, it is so... It's such a great consistency, it just fills it, it up. Is. And now you can bang it on the table a little bit. Yeah, I'll shake it around. You'll see it flattens out. That easy. All right, so we just topped up Injecto M with more mace for the second part of the mold. While we wait for that to melt, James has something for me. I hear you like mini sabers. I so love them. <laughs> I found one of the last Founders Edition mini sabers. These are the original ones from the factory, and we had like a hundred of these made. Oh no um, way! Some of the original <laughs> Kickstarter backers got these. I've got a few left. Figured you deserve one. Thank you. Is it signed? It, it is. is. <laughs> <Woo>! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> if you're gonna give me a lightsaber, I'm gonna give Whoa. you one too. <laughs> 
Wow. I got a fully maced copper mini saber for you, James. I warn you, it's very I heavy. It. <laughs> Woo. Wow, that is that is awesome. The uh, possibilities of maced, it's amazing. Wow. Yeah. That is awesome. Why don't we go ahead and inject the second mold? Weird. <laughs> it's, it's already solid. Is it still warm? We can see exactly how warm Whoa. it is. Whoa! <laughs> All right, so it's still about 70 degrees in the middle. Or actually, it's still 100 right in the core. That's Fahrenheit for our American friends. Oh, yeah. Okay, never mind. How hot am I? Not hot. Almost hotter. <laughs> James demolded the first half of the mold. Wow. Voila. Wow. That's really good quality for <laughs> someone who's never used the machine before. The next step is to cover this with fusion mix yep. and then throw it in the furnace. <laughs> that has some quality ceramics. Thanks, he likes the crucible. So James, what we're doing now is we are taking the cooled maced parts and turning them into solid metal. Yeah, and I was noticing like, these are pretty solid for not even being sintered yet. Like, they are. It will break if you drop it, but it's pretty strong and compared to a normal sintering process where you get a green part that's super fragile. Yeah. You can be a lot more rough with this and it's an all-in-one process. We throw it in here, we throw it in there, and we get a metal part. That's, <laughs> and that's awesome. A, that's exactly what we're <laughs> going to do. So what is the next step? Well, we let the mace cool. We're going to put it in this crucible. Then we're going to cover up with the fusion mix yep. and throw it in the furnace. So that's simple enough to do. Now that's fine powder, which by itself isn't dangerous, but inhaled, not it, the greatest. You never want to breathe any form of dust, so why don't nope. we take this outside, right. pour it into the crucible, place our part in. put both in? Yeah, we can. Yeah. You can throw as many parts as you can fit in the crucible. Awesome. Follow us. This could probably have been a better idea. It's everywhere. <laughs> James did a good job. So we have our crucible. It's filled with our fusion mix. He's washing his hands real quick. There's no harm in getting it on your hands. And when he gets back, I'll show him what's next. At this point, we put the crucible in the furnace and then ramp up to 1,020 degrees Celsius over 40 minutes. We hold it for 80 minutes and then allow it to cool down before removing the crucible. All right, James, right out of the furnace. The first thing you'll see is the top is very white. You can go ahead and scoop out all of the white and anything black can be reused over and over. Well, here are your tongs, go fishing for your parts. Probably still hot. A metal injection mold in one day. Yeah. I didn't think it was possible. Let's go inject into Injecto. <laughs> Gonna be a high lift. James, I have faith in you. Three, two, one. It's a very nicely machined piece of aluminum. <laughs> totally didn't need to make the outside so pretty, but you did. <laughs> I'm gonna appreciate that. All right, so we're gonna close up the mold that we just finished making. And you've already designed nice little mating features so it stays in place. We have a blast shield as well, but I'm going to put it on the side that James and I are on. Good luck. <laughs> All right, here we go. Keep going. There we go. Wow. That's a lot of mobile yeah. plastic. Flathead. Wow. <laughs> look at that Oreo. <laughs> we should make Oreos. Does that not look like an Oreo? We should make extra engineering research campus Oreos. My first injection molded part. Wow. That's amazing.
Want to make another one? Sure. Cool. Whoa. That one's pretty good. You guys can see minimal flashing. You can see this injection sprue. You can see the vent hole at the bottom. Now we just need to pull the coin out. <laughs> awesome. That's some really good. You like the detail on there? Yeah. Let's get a close up of that. You really see the Hacksmith logo on there. <laughs> Awesome. Well, I'm James, I look forward to make more things. Yeah, I look forward to see what you make with Injecto Metal using Maste and also see what you plastic inject with Injecto 2.0. And I'm super excited for the potential metal 3D printer that you're going to work on. Ooh, hint, hint. Yes. We might maybe collaborate we might on work that. On. Yeah. So if you guys want us to collaborate on the world's first desktop metal 3D printer, let us know in the comments and we might just do that. <laughs> well, James, it's been good. Pleasure. <laughs>